Je suis allé à la maison. 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 Je suis allé I guess my story starts like so many others, with a girl. A girl who worked in a photography store in a quiet little corner of Toronto, Canada. <laughs> Julia. What are you doing, Harry? Are you meant to be playing with that camera? <laughs> the two of us grew up together, born the same month, lived on the same block. To her, we were best friends. To me? Well, never mind. I know you have to test it, but does it always have to be on me? You're not getting a serious photo out of me. I can assure you of that. I shall be silly until you put that camera away. How about now, Harry? 
How do I look? Right. I have to get back to work now. You should do the same. Morning, my good man. Morning, sir. How may I help? A portrait, perhaps, in that fine uniform? Name's Barrett. Major Barrett. I'm looking for a photographer. Well then, Major, you've come to the right place. Forgive me, but have we met before? Your face looks familiar. Ah, uh, I've been in the papers a bit. Done the odd recruitment poster. Oh my, welcome. How are things over in Europe, Major? Boy, bring some wine for the Major. The good stuff, upstairs. Who is this fine fellow then? Your son, I take it. Oh God, no, that's just Harry. Works for me, utterly useless. As well as can be expected. We fight the good fight as best we can. Fine place you have here. Do you take commissions, outside assignments? Julia, come over here and say hello to the Major. He's a real war hero, been in the papers and everything. Nice to meet you, sir. I'm Julia. Martin Barrett. And the pleasure's all mine. So, this Harry lad, can he use a camera? That he can, yes, one re- Seeming feature, Major. Ah, here we are. You took your time, boy. Useless. Poor lad. I'm sure he's trying his best. <laughs> here you are, Major. To your health. Why, thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Now, you said something about needing a photographer? Yes, yes. Who took these? They're exceptional. Just the kind of pictures I'd need in the fight against the Germans. Ah, oh, blödes Funkgerät. Kurt, du bist der Techniker. Reparier das Ding. Brennt immer um dieselbe Zeit durch. Schnell, die Berichte kommen gleich. Richtig gehört, Kurt? IA 125? In der Einheit ist auch dein Sohn Max, oder? Alles noch unbestätigt. Ist wahrscheinlich gar nichts, aber ich sag's den anderen. Dear Katrin, I've done something I know you will not agree with. It's about Max. It's about our son. I know now why his letters are not reaching you at the farm. Gott, wir warten schon. Zieh den Hebel. Die Ehre gebührt dir.
wird mir wohl nie langweilig. Fast geschafft. Noch ein Hebel. Da hinten, vor der Leiter. auf einer der oberen Plattformen. Danke, Kurt. Wunderschön, oder? Viele von uns hier in der Fabrik haben Söhne in der Einheit. Sie haben sich alle zusammengemeldet, alle aus demselben Dorf. Wolf sagt, es ist noch nichts bestätigt. Es ist bestimmt nur ein Missverständnis. Das würde ich gern glauben. Aber es war die Nummer ihrer Einheit. Und wir haben Krieg. Kurt, dein Sohn Max ist doch auch in der Einheit IR 125. Machst du dir keine Sorgen? Entspann dich. Ihr macht euch alle nur so viele Sorgen, weil die Heimat so weit weg ist. Kannst du den Direktor fragen, Kurt? Er weiß bestimmt etwas und er respektiert dich. So the pictures from Taylor's new camera were great. And Julia looked beautiful. But I'd never tell her that, of course. Don't know why, but I kept one of those photos. Still have it to this day. Come on, boy. Do your damn job. There's no rush. I'm sure the lad's trying his best. So make it a good one, boy. Not me, Harry. Take a picture. 
Major of the Major. Major, would you also mind a picture with my daughter, Julia? Not at all. It would be my pleasure. Come here, girl. In you get. Make sure you frame them both in, Harry. Come on, girl. I don't bite. Tell me, Major. Are you married? Father! Truth be told, I wish it was me in that photo. The way she was around Barrett. <laughs> I'd never seen her like that before. Julia was right. He was a hero. Der Direktor weiß bestimmt etwas. Wir müssen ihn fragen. IA 125? Die meisten Jungs von zu Hause sind in der Einheit. Bitte, Kurt, frag den Direktor. Du kennst ihn länger als wir alle. Er respektiert dich. I needed answers. We all did. So many of us at the factory have sons who went to war together. Some were even in the same unit as Max. The chief had a direct line of communication to the front. If anyone knew the truth behind these rumors, it would be him. Ah, Sie kommen genau richtig. Es gibt Neuigkeiten. Einige Männer aus der IR 125 werden zwar vermisst, aber deswegen sind sie noch lange nicht tot. Wir wissen bestimmt bald mehr. Aber fürs Erste muss die Produktion weitergehen. Wir können ihnen jetzt nicht helfen. Wir können nur beten. The others may have been content to pray, to hope for the best. But I could not. What became of our son's unit? I had to know. So I have gone to the front, Katrin. I have gone to find Max. I'm impressed, Harry. You're a real professional with that camera. Listen, I'm heading back to France in a few days. You should join me. Help your country, take a few photos. Return home a hero. And remember, Harry, women love a man in uniform. And it was in that very moment I decided I was going to war. That night, I left and never looked back. Even though it would get her in trouble, Julia gave me Mr. Taylor's best camera. Truth be told, I didn't ever want to go to war. I only ever wanted that uniform. Maybe one day, Julia would look at me the way she looked at Major Barrett. After that, it was all a bit of a blur. So much happened over that next month. They signed me up, put me on a train to the coast. They even gave me that uniform. You will think I'm impulsive. But to me, there, there was no choice. Our son is missing at war. I, I cannot deal with doubt. I will not live with uncertainty. This is my path now. And before I knew it, I was taking photos in the middle of the ocean. I'd never even left Canada. 
let alone been on a ship before. You could have fit Taylor's whole photography store in the front deck alone. I'd wake up early each morning to practice with my camera. We must have been close to shore that day. For the first time in weeks, I saw birds. The camera Julia gave me was marvelous, the best I'd ever used. I could even change the lens to see things close up. Photos on the boat were easy. <laughs> I'd had more trouble with customers back home. But once we arrived, I didn't know what to expect. Everyone said the Germans were crazy. And so I'm on a train heading out of Germany, where I write to you now. It's not a comfortable journey, being on this train. For you, my darling, nothing changes. I will still be away from home. Only now, I will carry out my duties as an engineer on the front lines. I will enclose a letter to Lucy to tell her I, I have gone to find her brother. Zwei Monaten sind wir wieder zu Hause. Unwahrscheinlich, so wie es an der Front für uns gelaufen ist. Stimmt. Was sollst halten wir da? Wenn die Amerikaner oh, eingreifen, Mann. Amerika bricht sich nicht ein. Die sind auf der anderen Seite der Welt, wir sind denen egal. Der Kaiser weiß, was er tut. Wir müssen uns keine Sorgen machen. Wer ist da? Stehen bleiben! Das ist ein Munitionswagen, Soldat. Hier hast du nichts verloren. Wenn irgendetwas passiert, selbst die kleinste Erschütterung, weißt du, was diese Minen anrichten? Up early as usual, Harry. You're keen. I like that in my men. <laughs> Photographs of seagulls won't make the papers, son. Or are they for that girl back home? Trust me, she's not interested. But she will be, once you and I make those headlines together. Come on, let's get a few practice shots up at the bow. Get the flag in the photo, Harry. People love that kind of thing. You're the photographer, so how do I look best? Now, here's an idea. You, private, get over here on the double. That's it. Smile for the camera, my lad. Last one, Harry. Let's try one with the ocean in the background. Wait. Mines. Mines! Ich suche einen Platz, um nach Hause zu schreiben.